Hey guys, welcome back to Power Tool Week in Review. I'm Rob, we have breaking tool news. Just three days ago, Milwaukee asked Sarah and I to jump on a Teams call to show us a brand new M18 tool that's never been seen before. And not only is this the first time Milwaukee has made the tool like this, it's also the most expensive Milwaukee tool ever made. Think you know what it is? Let's go. This is the completely new Milwaukee M18 Modular Pipeline Inspection System, and it starts at a surprisingly reasonable $9,400, and it aims to disrupt a very specific industry. Until now, pipeline inspection cameras have been expensive, clunky, and plagued by several quirks that drive inspectors nuts, but Milwaukee thinks they have the solution. The entire system is based on the M18 500 gigabyte control hub, which can easily be swapped between either a 120 foot or 200 foot pipeline inspection reel. Powered by an M18 battery, it stores recordings and can wirelessly play back the videos on either the M18 wireless monitor or a tablet up to 200 feet away, making it easy to bring the results to your customers or coworkers. Let's talk about the individual reels. The 120 foot version features a 25 millimeter 1080p HD self-leveling camera head and a 10 millimeter push cable that's specifically designed for two inch to six inch pipes, but able to withstand harsh conditions when navigating through cast iron, clay, and PVC. Users can digitally zoom up to 4X to help focus on specific points of interest within the pipe. Being portable is incredibly important when you need to bring a 36 pound tool to remote locations like a roof, so to help you get around, there's this clever removable backpack attachment, which I'm guessing will be stolen by the packout community and hacked to work with that system too. Calm down, Jake of all, there's more info to get through yet. The 200 foot reel features a 34 millimeter 1080p self-leveling camera head and a 12 millimeter push cable, perfect for three inch to 10 inch pipes. Now both reels have built-in telescoping handles and wide wheels, making it easy to drag around all types of terrain. But once you get your camera where you need it, what makes this different from other solutions? Well, for one, the interface can be accessed either through a new M18 wireless monitor that offers maximum durability or through a free app on either iOS or Android for a clear image and faster sharing, both of which feature a ridiculously easy to operate interface that makes it easy to record video and descriptive audio, store it, organize it, and share it with customers or coworkers. You can easily edit the footage and delete audio in case it's not something you want to share. Inspectors know what I'm talking about. We got a chance to talk to Morgan, a senior product manager from Milwaukee, and he said their team has been working on this new system since 2016, and it took this long to get everything exactly right. They had no plans of adding just another option to this space, but aimed to bring a solution that makes their competitors obsolete on day one. I reached out to a couple industry people outside of Milwaukee, and after seeing this new system, they agree it's something special. John Thompson, better known as OG Plum God, called it amazing. He loved the interchangeable reels, how user-friendly the interface was, and said editing videos will be far easier now. He also said, and I quote, one of the most genius things about this camera and monitor system is that they will be able to add new features without purchasing new equipment. So, is this game changing? Only time will tell for sure. If you're a line inspector, be sure to speak up in the comments and let us know what you think about this new system. If you're already convinced and ready to pull the trigger, you can actually head over to ohiopowertool.com and place your pre-order today. Oh, and one more thing. This new tool has produced another Milwaukee first, the most expensive Milwaukee tool accessory ever. We'll have more details on that tomorrow, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. To make sure you don't miss any Power Tool news, be sure to like and subscribe, and catch us this Friday for the Power Tool Week in Review.